Six years later, in accordance with the rule of law, I am obligated on the last day of February, on the third anniversary of our election, to give up that mandate. And so I will hand back the mandate given to me by the city to our city administrator to Mayor Darrell Bradley bade farewell to City Hall this afternoon, formally bringing to an end two consecutive terms of civic leadership. His stepping down from office today comes a week before the next municipal elections. As such, the Belize City Council has also been ceremoniously dissolved, the reins being handed over to City Administrator Candice Miller on an interim basis. Let me just take this opportunity to say, councillors, Mayor, it has been a pleasure and an honor to work with you all for the last seven years. I want to present this plaque. It says the management and staff of the Belize City Council extend its heartfelt gratitude and appreciation to Mayor Darrell Bradley for exemplary services, dedication, and allegiance to Belize City and its residents, 2012 to 2018. Mayor, Councillor Theos, we wish you all the best as you move on. Recognizing the work of his administration, the retiring head of local government took time to acknowledge his councillors as well as the team at City Hall. Councillor Michael Teos. <laughs> Councillor Dr. Aline Gonzalez. Councillor Jason Edwards. <laughs> Councillor Kevin Singh. <laughs> Councillor Hyacinth Lachman Cuellar. <laughs> Councillor Philip. Superman Willoughby. <laughs> Mayor Bradley's departure comes with a sober reflection, one that takes him back to 2012. When I was running for office of mayor, people indicated to me, do not do that. You will kill your political career. That institution is rife with corruption and it will be the end of you. And I can say unresoundingly that six years later, I am so very impressed with the men and women who serve in the city council. People who give their all to ensure that our city runs and our city advances and progresses. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Cayetano.